My name is Ashnu Nanavati. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I did my undergraduate degree at the University of Southern California, and then I went back to New Jersey to Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson to complete my medical education. Then I went down to Charleston, South Carolina to MUSC to do my adult psychiatry residency, and then went to DC um, for my child and adolescent psychiatry fellowship at MedStar Georgetown. One of the main reasons I decided to pursue child and adolescent uh, psychiatry fellowship in addition to completing my adult residency, um, in addition to liking working with children and families, was that it gave me the extra training to evaluate all patients comprehensively and holistically. Because by understanding their early childhood experiences, family dynamic relationships, childhood trauma, adverse childhood experiences, as well as you know what's helped them become resilient, um, I'm able to approach e each person as an individual and look at them as much more than a constellation of symptoms or their diagnoses. I love that when you're working at an academic medical center, it keeps you on your toes um, and you're always able to be up to date on the most recent evidence-based medicine um, and I really wanted to get back to that environment. So when I'm not practicing medicine, I like to spend time with my husband and my son. We are big foodies, so we like to go to different restaurants. I like to watch different cooking shows and try out different recipes. Um, I like baking. We also like to travel. We're big skiers. Um, and we like traveling to places where we can do active activities like hiking. So when I was in middle school, I spent a summer at a clinic in India uh, for children with special needs, specifically from underserved and marginalized communities. And seeing the passion and compassion of the team of doctors and therapists who volunteered their time and their effort to work with these children and families was truly inspiring. But what was even more inspiring was the dedication and unwavering perseverance of the parents and the families of these children. And these families had saved every rupee they had and traveled such long distances to get their child the best medical care that they could. And after that really formative experience, I knew I wanted to dedicate my career to helping people navigate the healthcare system and ensuring that everyone has access to the highest quality of care that every person deserves.